What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Qantas with Mr. Wells Knight. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Oh, you know, eh, just hanging out on the roof, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The roof. It's a, it's a lovely view. A lovely view. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. A uh, couple of quick notes right out of the get go. We ended off last episode in the nether where we were getting Will and Mr. Wells Knight got Will very, very efficiently and very quickly. And I was not so lucky. And what is we've determined was happening is I think looting three affects. Hey, take your sword back. <laughs> How much will <laughs> you are collecting? There we go. Uh, which is really awesome to kind of find out. I was starting to kill mobs with his sword and I was getting five will in return compared to mine where I was only getting one to two. So. Yeah. Kinda. So looting three on your uh, on your sentient sword, make it happen. It's amazing. Yeah, it's very good. Now, I mean, we haven't determined if we can repair it or anything like that. We'll have to look into that later on. But uh, yeah, it definitely is working. So um, now we have the will. We both have sixty four, correct? We do. And w as they say, where there's a will, there's a way. There is a will. There is a way. And what we want to get is the next Tartaric gem, the lesser Tartaric which is a diamond, it's a block of lapis, block of redstone, and a petty tartaric. So, here's the problem. We need another petty tartaric. Don't we? Do we? We do. Couldn't so, we just use one of ours? I guess we could, but we might lose that will. We could just make some oh. basic ones, because we only need 60. Oh, we, you're right. Okay. So, we need to make another... Tartaric. Okay, so hey, we can we can do this. I will. Uh, yeah. I'll run down to the mob farm real quick. Well, actually, that's gonna take. Hell we now. don't need the mob farm. No, no, we're good. Do you have uh, the stuff to make a, a petty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Oh, okay. Never Let's mind. Let's do it up. I got prepared. I got prepared. Well, look at you being all prepared and stuff. Uh, I know, right? Okay, good. And that should make one, and then. Doo -doo -doo. Perfect. And if you have the stuff, did you grab the redstone and whatnot? Uh, no, I'll nope. get it. That's fine. You got to tell me I'm supposed to be doing this stuff, man. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's fine. It's fine. The piece of glass. That's the one that I always forget. <laughs> All right. Good. And perfect. So here is your petty tartaric that you can upgrade in your inventory. Okay. And... Oh, did you just steal mine? Oh, uh, there you go. It's in the Hellfire Forge. Oh, perfect. Okay, so that guy goes in the top left. We have the lapis, the redstone, and a diamond. And you throw in your at least 60 will, but it's only going to drain, uh, what, 20, I believe, to get this done. And there we go. I have my lesser tartaric. Now your turn, good sir. You said it was gold? No, uh, diamond, block of redstone, block of lapis. And the petty. Oh, okay. There we go. And perfect. Beautiful. There you go. Now, of course, we'd have to fill this guy up, uh, but we'll deal with that on our own time this time. Yeah, and uh, it shouldn't actually be that hard to do with our our. We now that we've learned that the sentient sword with looting three is like a super sword. Like, yeah, whatever. I agree. And. It can contain, or it does hold, 256, which is really nice. And that is uh, more than what we need, thankfully. Thankfully. Uh, now, for us to get that Sigil of the Green Grove, we do need to get 128 in one of our gems. So we are kind of at that sticky point again where we need to go farm some will. Back it's to the end. nether I go. Never ending, right? Yeah, I know, right? That's all right. Thank yeah, it's the little things. You know, I wish I had a looting three enchant that was available to me, but I well, don't. Well, why didn't you get one? I don't know. This uh, silly little enchanting table here just only wants to give me knockback for whatever reason. Do we have any method of choosing enchantments? Of, like, making... Well, I suppose there's Enderio the enchanter there, but that we don't get for some time. Yeah... And we don't have anything like Silent Gems or any of those mod 
um, that are the other ones that I'm aware of that can do that. So I think we're kind of stuck on that front. But at least, you know, we, we still need some more... I mean, we still obviously need all the Wither Skeleton Skulls. Yes. Uh, we haven't gotten a single one yet, which is a bit of bad luck as well, but... Yeah. All things considered, not yeah, too, we need too to, bad. Uh, we need to do something about that for sure. But anyway, I think what we'll do here is we'll take a little cut, we'll go gather a bunch of will, and we'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, we are back from another excursion to the nether. I have completely filled up my Tartaric gem. I now have 256 will. Yeah, and just as a reference point, me using my lame sword, I only have 77. And I'm I, I'm better, but not that much better. No, no, <laughs> definitely the fortune thing or yeah. the looting, I should say yeah. looting. And when I say better, I mean that my sword kills things faster because it has sharpness five. But it really, does do that well. it's not that much faster. Like, it's definitely the looting uh, that is that is making a difference for us. So, it, I mean, it has to be. It's the only other variable. Um, but before we jump into blood magic, I think we should upgrade our bags, our uh, our backpacks here. We've, this is something we probably should have done ages ago. Oh, yeah, probably. But if you want to do that. You, could, you make these crafting upgrades from Bagginses. They're basically just planks, ingots, and string. So, super easy. And then you add one upgrade to upgrade it to tier two. Ooh, and two and upgrades. And you get achievements. And you get achievements. And two upgrades will upgrade it to tier three. So, perfect. there you go. I'll throw those Thank to you. you. All right. So, one for one level, right? At tier two. And tier three. Awesome. And now it's... Now how, oh, those are way bigger. Yeah, bigger. They are bigger. They're still not, like, super big, though. Like, it's not even a double chest. It's basically, like, uh, let's see, four by nine, so it, it now holds 36 items. Yeah, still a lot better, though. Yeah, without a doubt. Definitely an improvement on what we had. No, mm -hmm. no doubt there at all. Uh, but then we can actually also make it soulbound. Ooh. Which oh, yes. is, and that's an advantage that we have that other things don't. Although, do we want to spend, well, yeah, we've got tons of ender pearls now. Because we're, yeah, we're our biggest up. concern is I think we only have the two gas tiers, right? Is yeah, that but that's, we have? those we can get. I'm not overly concerned about that. Gas farm. Um, woot. <laughs> that, that's my answer. We will wait mm. till woot. And yeah, we'll just woot up a gas farm. No yeah. big deal. And you totally can, actually. Yeah. It's it works ridiculous. out very nicely, too. Yeah, it's a little ridiculous. But anyway, we need one, two, three. Uh, I will toss here. I'm going to toss you those. Thank you. And then we need heads. You can use any type of head, I believe. So I'm just going to use hobby heads. So. Yeah. And then oh, we uh, get the one wither skeleton skull as well. Oh, we did. That's right. We found one wither skeleton skull while we were doing this. And then you just uh, do... Oh, oh what's, the, what's the recipe? I need to look. Diamond. Uh, okay. okay, got it. So boop, we're down boop, to boop. two diamonds. That goes there. That goes here. This goes here. And it is now soul bound. So if we die, awesome. it stays with us. Perfect. And I, I uh, do you mind throwing me that gas tier? Oh, I, I left it in the chest. Oh, you left it in there. Yeah, I okay, only grabbed perfect. what I. I only grabbed what I needed for myself, so that you could get this stuff. And soul bound. Awesome. Now I'm cool. not sure if the soul bound enchant will go away when we die. I don't think so. Or if so. it stays on there. I've seen it done both ways in mod packs. I thought it stays with you, but don't quote me on it. Yeah, it might. It might not. We'll find out next time we die. If. If. Yeah, if. Who knows? I mean, at this point, I've got like 65 levels. I suppose it is possible that I will never die again, but somehow I find that relatively unlikely. Yeah, so uh, other than that, we can make our sigil now, right? I think so. I think sigil we can. Sigil of the Green Grove. So I put in the items for the sigil. Okay. Um, the biggest problem that we have is we need the reinforced stone. So to do that in this setup that we have, because we have the filter down here, I got to go change the filter so that we don't pull out the blank slate. Yeah, that would be unfortunate. Okay, perfect. So I'll get this reinforced slate here. 
And that should be... I think it's only 2,000 LP. It's nothing too crazy, especially at our level. Yeah. And then we also need to do the... Uh, the arcane growth reagent thingy. Oh, God. Do we remember how to do that? Uh, I do, I think. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I need saplings, sugar cane, and sugar. Oh, you've already... Look at that. You're all look on top of things and stuff. Okay. So we're going to do that. I'll put this in here. This will make the, the growth reagent thingy. Mm-hmm. Perfect. And there we go. We've got that. And then as soon There's as... There's the slate. Oh, look at that. You're so far ahead of me. I so know, we put right? this guy here. We right-click the growth reagent, and then we right-click the slate, and that and then should hocus give pocus, us... Alakazam. There we go. Sigil of the Green Grove. Awesome. And I, and I can, I think, shift-click to activate it? Yeah. Now, remember, you probably don't have a lot of blood in your system. Though. Yep, I was just going to say. So, <laughs> I was just going to say that. Now, before I use it heavily, I should probably make sure that there is, help, you know, stuff in my my network or whatever. Uh, let's so see. not killing yourself. Yeah, I have uh, 1250 at the moment. Yeah, that's not very many. That's, that's not, not a many. lot. I'm so, only at 600, though, so you're, you're double up on me. So we'll do something like that. Now we're up to 2850. I wonder, does the incense work on that? This requires science, right? Oh, uh. So I'm at 2850. I pop the apprentice blood orb. That puts me at 3050. So that's 200, right? Yeah. It's a 200 point difference. If I come over here. And I stand next to the incense where my sacrificial dagger would be activated. And I do the same thing. Eh, still gives me 200. I was hoping it yeah, would give I me a little more. I think it's more that you put the blood in the altar and then your orb on the altar. And then you can reap the benefits that way. Right? Ah, that's true. That's a good way to do it as well. That's a good point. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm just... You can charge yours now. Uh, on there. And that should start to increase it pretty decently overall somewhat yep. okay it's, anyway it, it's getting there more than 200 at a time anyways yeah but we definitely want to show off this sigil because this thing is like super amazing right it's very useful it is this very, is very useful. this is like if you could have this on day one like you could speed up the mine the, the minecraft process by so much most definitely Right. Just even that initial, like, oh, wow, we need... And, uh, you know, speaking of which, like, there's some crops right behind you there that we could even utilize the sigil on to grow. All right, so I'm up to 8,000 now. Oh, awesome. So that should be good, at least for a while. I don't know the rate at which this drains. I think it's 100 per growth. I don't know. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest all the weed over here. Like so. Like so. And the rice. And might as well harvest the flax as well, I guess, because string. And then I'm, string? I'm just going to stand yeah. on top of this thing and we're going to activate it. And oh, look at it go. It's going to start growing all the things. That is so awesome. Yep. Now, and you I think can also, it's uh, within, I think it's like six or seven blocks away, f like in each direction. So I think it's a six block or seven block diameter. I believe you are player. correct. The other thing, too, is that you can right click directly on a specific crop. So like if I want this one wheat right here to grow, I can just right click yeah. on it until it grows. Yeah, just like bone meal. Yep. Instead so, of yeah, that's really yeah, awesome. Which is awesome. So shift right click is like uh is like the AOE everything grows, but it's a little bit more slowly, and then the the re the regular right click functionality is just like a bone basically bone meal. bone meal. It's basically infinite bone bone meal. Exactly. So pretty amazing. I, very good stuff. I am a big fan. So I'll let you charge up your orb some more too, just because I know it's bound to you. You're probably going to be using it the most. You're going to need the most blood in your system. This is uh, probably true. 
<laughs> we don't want to be killing off of wells prematurely here. Yeah, that would be unfortunate. My time has not well, yet come. I don't know if it actually kills you anymore. I've, I'm not willing to try. To I was just going to say, I don't really, I mean, you're welcome to test it, but I don't really want to. <laughs> I know it definitely used to, and I see no reason that it would have been changed. Uh, I know that some of the lesser ones now only give nausea, mm. but I'm not sure at what level it's like, you know, no, no, you're dead. <laughs> oh, to say the least. So perfect. I, uh, Love it. The Sigil of the Green Grove is awesome. Um, the other one that we were debating getting is the Fast Miner. Yeah. Uh, that one's pretty nice, too. Um, especially if we're going to be building a base here right away. Yeah. And we are going to be building a base relatively soon. So we're going to need uh, some iron tools, uh, gunpowder, and that same Tartaric gem should do the job with that, which is great. All right, I'm going to take this back. Yeah, 1,300 LP, basically, in my network. We need, we need iron axe, iron pickaxe, and iron shovel. So that's seven iron altogether. Oh, what did Let's I do with my... Uh, do you have my gem? Uh, No. The, is it still in there? Oh, it is. It is the lesser Tartaric in there. I was looking, I didn't think it was a petty. Never mind. Okay. So I'm just making you the tools that we require here. I'll let um, you make this one. You can use that gem for it. I've okay. got my, my green grove sigil, so it's only fair oh. that you get a, a sigil as well. You're just putting me to work, eh? <laughs> You've seen through my master plan. <laughs> and gunpowder. That's the other thing we needed. All right. So that should give us that guy. Do you mind hitting a little arcane circle on the ground? No problem. For me. Um, boop. There boop, we go. Boop, boop. So it's uh, Regent, and then it's the Reinforced Slate, and Hocus Pocus. Away we go. Yes. Abracadabra, I Alakazam, etc. Et I have to say, I absolutely love this uh, as part of the new Blood Magic. Hey, it's thanks for the sigil. Awesome. Not a problem. You're it's welcome. Just, it, it chose me. I just wa I wanted you to do all the work. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like it chose me. Well, yeah, so what this should do is this should give us a bit of a haste effect. And maybe what I'll do is I'll run downstairs with my hammer out and just see how much how much faster it kind of makes the whole mining procedure. Oh, God. what? How did I? Did you hit me? No. No. I like just like launched off those stairs like no tomorrow. Oh, uh, weird. OK. I have no clue how. So, so once I activate this guy. Yeah, and actually. This hardened stone right here from environmental yeah. tech. This is like one of the most beautiful blocks ever in modded Minecraft. Just so you know. So we'll just bury wells in it. So the question is, we need we need like a comparison, right? Like, yeah, what so is what I'm um, thinking? OK, I'll disable it. I'll deactivate it. And let's just take a quick look. So where, you know, it's going, you know, it's not bad. All things considered. Yep. Now let's activate it and see. Oh, yeah. It's definitely oh, it's, yeah. It's like twice as fast. Well, maybe not twice, but that's much faster for sure. There's definitely some haste going on there for sure. And look at that thing. Like I am chewing through this pretty darn quickly and getting achievements while I do so. Achievements are lovely. Everybody loves achievements. So, yeah, that's... uh. That's pretty darn good. Now, I have no clue what that just did to my blood system. Who knows? Uh, it barely even affected it, to be honest. Um, really? That's... Yeah, I still have 12,000. So, overall, hmm. I'm going to say that that's very, very good. That's actually quite lovely. So, we're going to need a lot of this hardened stone. Oh, I've, de God. I've decided. Oh, no. We're really? going to need it. Yep. So yep. We're going to go that route, eh? Uh, yep. That does sound a little dangerous. I'm not going to lie. This is, it's a beautiful block. It, it really, is. It really is. It's like, it's amazingly beautiful. Okay. All right. A lot of hardened. Okay. All right. We can do that. Yep. I will try to get some hardened. Uh, I just had to get some torches because I don't want to be running back and forth and have everything spawn on yeah. me. Okay. Well, well, we'll do it later. We're not we're not actually going to do all of our mining right now because let's be honest. 
Oh, Nobody grab that. To watch that. Uh, that the lapis though. Uh, do you have mm -hmm. fortune three? No, just fortune one. Dude, I've got fortune three. We need that lapis. Yeah, there's some more over here uh, by me. Yeah, those right there. Perfect. I am fortuning all of this. There we go. And that's and that that was the lapis that I had seen. Did you say you saw more, or was it? No, no, that was the one. Okay, hey, I just got your chronic ore. Oh, nice. Or you did. Someone, One of us did. Someone did. Either way. <laughs> Either way. I'm I'm super happy to have lapis because, like, we need it badly. Big time. And that was, like, just, a stack and a half right there. Just to even get the lapis lazuli on our uh, pickaxes would be very nice. Yep. So, yeah, that works really good. Always remember to deactivate your sigils, though, people. Let me just uh, say it that way. Yes. Bad things happen if you accidentally leave them running forever. Bad juju. Don't do yeah, that. we just don't want that for yep. anybody. Yep. Bad days. Okay, so hardened stone. We don't really have a spot to store it. Uh, or do we? Yeah, we do. Okay, perfect. We have it in a drawer, so that's great. Okay. Um, we got some of that. Got some of that. I got a whole bunch of ores, which I didn't really want. Got like five, <laughs> basically like six stacks. That's not bad. No, no, it's not bad at all. So that'll be a good okay. start. Okay, cool. Perfect. So Fast Miner and Green Grove are awesome. Yeah, sigils are cool. I like them. Um, and I know it's a little bit shorter than normal, but I think we should probably call the episode right here. Yeah, I think we got a lot of work to do between we, we do. the next few here. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, lots of, uh, lots of hardened stone yeah. that I'm going to have, uh, you're going to have to gather. Yeah, and I think uh, we also need to go explore a specific location. Yeah, that as well. A yeah. little, little bit of uh, wells and acrylic research that needs to be done. Yep, for sure. So guys, that is going to do it for us today. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Au revoir.